What's up guys? So, um, like I said, I'm going live to announce and talk about something super special and I'm going to have uh, someone joining me here in a couple minutes. So stay tuned. In the meantime, I will um, answer some questions. Let's see. So how are you guys doing during this quarantine, by the way? Uh, hopefully you guys are staying safe and healthy and following all the protocol and um, also being productive and staying entertained, um, getting your workouts in because you guys can do them anywhere. Uh, if you guys wanna see some home workouts with no equipment, go to my YouTube, Daria Baranato on YouTube. What's up, Derek? Taryn, uh, my quarantine's going good. It's good, you know, I've just been um, getting a lot of work done, surprisingly, because we still have the internet and there's still a lot of stuff we can do. So, um, it's been good. It's been productive. I've been doing a lot of house projects. Um, I'll kind of update you guys on that later. I'm going to post some videos because a lot of you were asking for house tutorials or, um, like a mini episode of MTV Cribs, but not as cool. But anyway, so I'll maybe do that for you guys later today. Um, I just hung some sconces in my living room. I put together my whole entire home gym by myself, which I'm so proud of. Um, how am I staying safe? I'm really not leaving the house. Um, laying out by my pool, staying inside. Uh, if I have to go to the grocery store or the gas station or something, uh, I have my Purell and I have my wipes. Um, wash my hands really good when I get home. Um, Tommy, hi Tommy. Oh, I love you guys too. Where are the donuts? Good question. I'm going through donut withdrawal right now because I don't think most donut shops are essential businesses. Actually, I think they are. I mean, I think it is an essential business, but whatever. Neither here nor there. Um, maybe I'm, I was talking about maybe making some homemade donuts on maybe Instagram live or maybe making a video for you guys. Um, can you, I think you can bake donuts because um, I definitely don't have a deep fryer and that's how like most good donuts are made. What shows am I currently watching? I'm currently watching All American, which I'm obsessed with. Um, it's really cool because um, on All American, it's not just like a really good action drama TV show. But it, there's so much representation in that show in so many different ways and a lot of storytelling. Um, not only about the LGBTQ community, but diversity in general. So it's a, it's a dope show. One of my faves right now. Um, oh, hi Colleen. Miss you guys. What's my favorite food to make? Probably like homemade gravy with spaghetti and meatballs, raviolis. It's easy. Just sits on the stove all day. Let it freaking get all the... Good flavors going. Yeah, st staying fit's important. Listen, the only way that Mandy and I eat all those donuts and stay in great shape is, um, you know, it's all about balance. I don't have donuts every day. Yes, I might have a donut most weeks, but um, you know, if you're if you're working off the calories in the gym and you're maintaining an active, healthy lifestyle, then you know you're all good. It's all about balance. Got to treat yourself once in a while. I should go live and cook. If I went live and cooked, it would be a disaster because I tried to make you guys a video making um, protein pancakes, which I used to make protein pancakes all the time when I was getting in shape for uh, MMA and when I was cutting weight and stuff because I would crave sweets and I, but I would make like healthy alternatives and. I tried a new recipe and I didn't have Greek yogurt and so I thought I could do it without the Greek yogurt and sub with almond milk but it's not the same texture and so the pancakes came out terrible and I was like well I can't post this because nobody's going to want the recipe because um, it would literally come out terrible. I'm waiting for my person to join in but I don't know how to do this. Let me just start pressing buttons. Guys, I'm going to go find out how to add my person in and I'm going to come back, right back. Okay guys, so apparently my guest was trying to join in. 
Um, he was hitting the request button, but I've never done this split screen live before, so I wasn't answering. So let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna wait for his name to pop up, I think is the only way to do this. I really don't know. Mm -mm -mm. So let's wait for his request. Guys, I have a super exciting surprise to tell you guys about, and I'm gonna tell you in moments, as soon as I figure out how to add in the other caller on this thing. Okay. I think I got Do, 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 do. Are you guys excited for SmackDown tonight? Because I am super excited. Okay, sent the request. I'm waiting for him to get on. Are you getting a new photo shoot soon? Hopefully. Um, but I think that's kind of against quarantine rules. So maybe when all this is over. Okay, I'm waiting for him to accept. Technology does hate me. Dodgy Claire, thank you for pointing that out. Guys, even though I'm in the generation of millennial, I think I'm a millennial. I was born in 93, is that a millennial? I don't know. But I'm not good with technology. Can somebody tell me how to add someone in on the split screen here? <sighs> Glad you guys think this is funny. Come on. It's gotta be like such an easy way. Okay, wait, guys, I think I got it. John, I, I okay, we're connecting. We're here. Hey. Hi, technology is not my strong suit. <laughs> You're telling me the older I get, the tougher this stuff gets. Yeah, right? What's my excuse? Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. I kept hitting the request button, and uh, I don't know. I'm sure you got a lot of people sending your requests. So. Well, we are here. Yes, we are. Glad to see that you're uh, holding up well in these challenging times. Yeah, you know, trying to keep busy, um, trying not to lose my mind like the rest of us, but. Yeah, yeah. So just so your audience knows, I'm John. I work uh, for Cold yes. Locker. And uh, Sonia, I met probably, I don't know, sometime this year. It was actually uh, yeah. backstage at SmackDown. It was at the beginning of the Mandy and Otis story. Mm -hmm. So if you want to put a timetable on it, that's probably been going on for about six months or so. Yeah. So interesting to see that one uh, up close and personal. <laughs> but, uh, Super fun. <laughs> it was funny because we, 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 we actually first met there and we were talking, uh, you know, about a project that I was working on at the time. It was a uh, t-shirt project for foot action and uh, with an artist named Jesse Hernandez, AKA urban Aztec. Yep. And after you walked away, I just, I, I looked over at somebody else. I'm like, I don't know why we're not doing a, a Sonya. Uh, t-shirt in this project as well so we connected again we started talking about it and uh you know i figured hey you've got a super loyal fan base obviously uh you know you're you know got a great interesting story to tell and you're from new jersey of course so uh you know that was the main that, thing right that, that was, was really that was really the main thing <laughs> so everybody from new jersey is great for sure um so I, I thought, hey, let's let's do a short. You were definitely uh, you know interested and, and open to it. Uh, you know Jesse Hernandez definitely interested and open. Uh, but what I wanted to do with it from a design perspective is I didn't want him to just design a shirt, even though he's a great designer, and then just right. hand it to you and say, hey, here's your shirt. I wanted right. this to truly be your shirt, and you know give you the freedom to to work through design, uh, you know, and come up with story and, and be passionate about it. And you definitely accepted me on that challenge. Uh, and you provided some great feedback. So before we unveil uh, the shirt, why don't you tell you know people about what went into it and, and why you chose the design that you did? Yeah, so John reached out to me uh, a couple months ago and was like, hey, I would love to do an Urban Aztec shirt with you. And I had seen the other ones. I saw uh, Natty's just dropped. Um, you're doing one for Cesare. I saw the Seamus one. And I was like, oh, these are, these are dope. And it's kind of like, I don't want to speak for your shirts or your art but these shirts are kind of like 
symbolic of the person's journey. Like there's so much in there subliminally that tells their story. And that I think it's so cool. Yeah, that one's sick. Um, but yeah, so they're just, they're, they're not only do they look cool, but they have a lot of meaning behind them and a lot of storytelling, which obviously is a huge part of our job. So when you came to me, I was like, sick, let's do this. Um, for sure, for sure, for sure. And we went back and forth and talked about what story it is that I want to tell. Um, and you had the idea of um, obviously being pride themed too. And I was like, yeah, absolutely. And so right away, I thought of this picture that I had taken with my photographer, Ryan Loco, like a year ago. And it was a photo of me covered in rainbow paint on the beach in the sand. And the picture is like so symbolic in so many ways, because not only obviously is it, you know, pride forward and equality and, and all of that, but me and Ryan, when we were conceptualizing that photo shoot, we thought it would be so cool to just go to the beach, get down and dirty in the sand, buy some rainbow paint and see what happens. And we didn't know what would come of the shoot, you know? It could have either been a disaster or it could have been really freaking cool. And the photos came out amazing. And it just, I think back to a time, you know, four plus years ago where I wasn't even comfortable in my own skin, you know? If you look back at the video on Tough Enough where I, you know, I came out when Triple H asked me if I was in a relationship and I got so nervous and scared and, you know, not a lot of people know the whole story, but, um, you know, I ran upstairs and grabbed my phone and called my girlfriend at the time. And I was like, Hey, like I was freaking out. I was like, I just came out on national television. Like her mom didn't know. And a lot of my family didn't know. And I was like, I, I don't know what to do. Is this okay? I'm like, I was apologizing to her for potentially outing her. And so there was all this kind of emotion um, back then. And it was because I didn't even like who I was. And I didn't even accept who I was at the time. So working with you and doing a project like this that is so unapologetic and so loud and beautiful is, is so cool. And when you came up with the concept of using that photo in the graphic of the shirt, I was like, absolutely. Because the shirt itself, I mean, the photo itself had meaning behind it and then putting it all together. And then when I saw the final product, I was mind blown. It's, it's incredible. It's everything that I want. And it encompasses my entire story and message, you know, in one beautiful graphic. So you guys killed it. And I'm so excited to show everybody. Yeah, and I, I mean, honestly, I felt the same way. As soon as I saw that picture, I was like, okay, that's the one, hands down. It's kind of yeah. the picture is worth a thousand words. Uh, For sure. That, that definitely hit it out of the park. And then obviously, uh, Jesse Hernandez did his thing with it and, and turned it into, you know, a really great graphic. And I think, uh, yep, and I think, uh, you know, obviously everybody wants to see the shirt. Um, I think you're going to post that uh, on, your, on your Instagram feed here as soon as we're done to give everybody a chance to see it. And for those who are interested in purchasing it, purchasing it, it will be available on footaction.com at some time in the near future. We haven't uh, honed in on an exact uh, date yet, but there are some other shirts from this entire collection available there as well that you can, that you can check out and, uh, you know, definitely uh, give a look to Jesse Hernandez, AKA Urban Aztec, who's the guy who did all the design here, but. Uh, He's incredible uh, by the way, like yeah, really cool stuff. He's amazing. And honestly, he is also a fan as well. So, you know, and obviously I'm a fan if, you know, I, you know, I guess I'm busted by my background uh, right. backdrop here. Um, I'm a fan. He's a fan. Uh, you know, so I think that really translates when we do projects like this. So, but I just want to thank you for, uh, you know, being as open and into it uh, as you are. And I, I think this is going to be a great project and I can't wait until it uh, becomes available. No, I'm so excited. I love how you guys didn't just say, hey, we're making you a shirt. It's going to drop tomorrow. Like, uh, you know you wanted full input and you wanted my story behind the shirt. And that's so cool. And I think that's why you guys make such good shirts and such good art is because you, you really talk to the, um, the talent and the people behind it. And you really, you want to portray something with it. You don't just want to make a graphic that you can sell. And I think that speaks volume in your work. So that's awesome. Yep. Look, I appreciate that. And I, I know if, if you like it, I'm going to like it. That's how, that's how it works. Well, that's good. Let's take like five random fan questions about the shirt. All right, sounds so good. So you guys, 
have any questions about the collaboration or the shirt, um, ask it here. I will answer five questions. Let's see what you got. That is not about the shirt. You guys are out of control. Um, price point, I don't know yet. Uh, that would be on their side of things. So, Sorry, what was the question? It was, uh, how much will the shirt cost? Oh, uh, $28. $28. Oh, God, they're coming so fast that I can't read them. I know, I don't know how oh, you can scroll. You can scroll up. I didn't know that. So there was a question there. Can you give it yes. how the shirt looks? We can do better than that. I think, uh, you know, as soon as we get off here, you're going to post it so everybody can actually see it. Yeah, guys, I'm going to post the actual T-shirt on my Instagram as soon as I get off here so you guys can see the entire design. So I'm not going to give any hints away right now. Definitely seen a few call outs about international uh, availability. Right now, it's only going to be available in the U.S. Sorry, okay. guys. Good, good to know. And one thing I will put out there, it's going to be somewhat limited edition. I mean, obviously, this is a pretty special project, and, and we're keeping it very tight. Um, expectations are it's probably going to sell out uh, pretty quickly, like uh, some of the past shirts have. So. Oh, my God, this kid said he went to my high school. Okay, what's your question? <laughs> RBWWE. Um, does it come in a hoodie? No, I think it's just T-shirt, right? Yeah, just T-shirts and answer a couple of the other questions. It runs from a, it's going to be in men's sizes, but it'll go down to a small all the way up to a, a double XL. So trying to be as inclusive as we can with the, with the size range as well. Um, can you pre-order? That's a good question. That is a good question. And unfortunately, you can't. Can't, guys. You just got to wait for the drop. Yeah, we will. It, it will have a launch date, though, and, you know, obviously following Sonia or Foot Action or Jesse Hernandez or myself, yep. you'll, you'll be, you know, notified of when that is. Cool. Yeah, guys, there will be a link. I'll post all that information when the shirt drops. Um, like he said, follow us all on Instagram, and we will be talking about it for sure. Um, yeah, he gave you all the info for the sizing. Will you sign the first five shirts that are ordered? I think that was directed at me. Yeah, I'll absolutely sign them. <laughs> I mean, I would. Guys, if I had them, I would. It's funny. We've done, we've done some limited uh, shirts so far for, for Natty and Sasha mm -hmm. and Bailey. And the amount of people that I've seen bring those to signings and actually have them signed has been pretty... Well, that's what's cool. Yeah. You guys buy the shirt. Um, we always have meet and greets and signings going on. So um, check out my page, and I'll keep you guys updated on that. You guys are excited about this. Um, cool. Well, thank you so much, John. I appreciate you uh, doing this, and I'm really excited to, to drop the design. So, guys, head over to my Instagram, and I am going to drop it right now. See ya. Bye. Hey, you guys. Okay, so I'm going to wait for a few more people to come on, but oh no, I'm trying to. Um, Bree and I finally picked our three winners for the. Total Bella season premiere, um, social distancing party contest. It literally has taken us all day. Sorry, the lighting's really whack. I'm in Bree's office right now. So it literally has taken us all day um, to pick. There was so many and so many amazing ones. You guys just rocked it. And I have to say one thing. The one thing I think I love the absolute most, and um, we're uploading our YouTube video right now, you all look like you were having so much fun doing it and so happy. And those are the things that just made Bree and I really happy. And so we're going to start to do different things every week. Um, but I have my eyes here. <laughs> I have to wait for Bree because I think we're going to announce it with our YouTube video that's uploading. But I just, oh, Lewis, what's up? Um, but yes, you guys are just incredible. So thank you everyone for joining 
for watching Total Bellas last night. If you missed Total Bellas, click my link in bio, head to E! Online, head to Hulu, head to E! DVR it. Um, we love all of your support, of course. Um, but for all of you who joined in on the party contest, oh my goodness, um, you guys just rocked. And so, Brie, I don't announce the winners on the live, right? What? I don't announce the winners on the live, right? Yeah, why not? Oh, Brie wants me to announce the winners. So, should I announce the winners right now? I think we deserve, the winners have been waiting, everyone's been waiting all day. Okay, well. And then just tell them when you head to our YouTube, we'll see all the other people that were, we were really torn over. Okay, that's true. I'm gonna shut the door so, so my Oh shoot, I keep. Okay, so what we're gonna do is Bree wants to announce the winners now. So we're gonna announce the winners now. We're gonna go DM you guys on the Bella Army Worldwide um, Instagram. Dang. Dang what? Can oh. I get in here? Yeah. Oh. Um, we're going to announce it now, and then we're going to, um, what do you call it? But you guys have to see the YouTube um, video because we talk about, like, 20 IG accounts that were just amazing. Okay, so the winners, which this was so freaking hard, um, was Reina underscore Ferrer. F E R E R. Hydro I G. You killed it. It was so good. Um, Brittany Sonora, you did amazing. Um, I loved what you did with all your stuffed animals and your son. And Brittany, I loved how you named all the food. I thought that was super creative. Well, we all did. We all were deciding all day today. Um, how you had some Bella Radici, but how you made your family sit and watch too. We loved that. And then. I have to say, this one cracked me up, and you guys have to go see it. Um, Mella Bliss era, and I know there's a, you know some people involved. Um, so they, a bunch of them dressed up as Brian, Arda, and Bree and I, and then they actually like cut promos like us, and decorated and did a party, and it was. Awesome. So you three are winners. There's another account that I really want you guys to go check out because I was fighting for them, and then. Out of everyone deciding, they got pushed to number four, but they gave us an idea for next week's contest. Um, Chloe Christmas underscore. Um, what they did with the editing, and it's just kind of Mella Bliss era. They did amazing editing, but um, Chloe Christmas underscore head to her account, her and her friend, um, which her friend is pregnant. They took bits and pieces from Total Divas and Total Bellas. Um, and acted, acted it out, but used TikTok and it's hilarious and amazing. And they did dances and you'll just be so entertained. So head to Chloe's account, Chloe Christmas underscore. We talk about our YouTube channel, but next week we're doing kind of like a TikTok challenge. It's going to be very similar to what Chloe Christmas underscore did. But Chloe, even though you came in number four or you came in fourth place, I'm sending you something because I absolutely loved what you did and that you gave us an idea for next week's contest because you guys all had fun. You guys all um, just looked really happy and you could tell like your family members were happy. Like Sam, Sam underscore Coveen, C-O-V-O-N-E, you and your grandma, your grandma, I think you said was 97 or 87. She, you and your grandma were so cute. There's just, you could tell a lot of you were having fun and that's the most important part. Okay, so we're gonna put up the winners. We're loading it up on YouTube and congrats to everyone. And I hope everyone's having an amazing Friday. And again, if you miss Total Bellas, um, make sure to catch it on E, so DVR it. Um, you can also see it on the E app, E online, or head to Hulu. Because now all of you who don't have cable can watch it in your TV. You can tweet at us or Okay, well, I love you guys. Mwah. I hope you are enjoying your Friday and you all have a great weekend. Um, yeah. Okay.